Okay, so this is to help troubleshoot getting your FTDI cable to communicate with MP Scan. We're just going to start from the start. If you've already done some of the steps, great. If not, great. Um, so basically, we're just going to follow the steps as written on Boost Button's website. So we're going to Boost Button Wiki. It's sometimes hard to understand seeing it just in writing, so hopefully seeing it done is there. So Google Boost Button Wiki and then click the top link. You want to go to Tuning How To. Click that and then get your laptop talking to the Chrysler ECU. After you do that, you're going to scroll down a bit. And right after the pictures, non boost button USB cable. So this means unless you bought it from Boost Button, which is no longer selling them currently, this is where you need to go. So click the manual configuration part. This is the first part. You want to go to this link or search this program, download FT Prog. And if you, it's alphabetical here, click it. Then again here, click it to download the software. I'm not going to already download it again because I've already done it, but download it, install it. After that, you open the program. After it opens up, you want to hit this magnifying glass. Uh, actually, the next step is to plug in your FTDI cable into your laptop. Plug it in, you hear the Windows chime. Now click that, it's reading the settings on the chip. You want to go down all of these steps as on the boost button website. This is the scan and parse we already did. Next thing we're going to do. Even though this is open, we're actually highlighted here, as you can see briefly. We're going to invert these ones. So go to the invert section. You see those boxes just like another one? These are checked. These are checked already because I've already checked them. But in your case, if it's the first time you've run this program, these will not be checked. And they will not work unless they are checked. The other thing you need to go to is the D2XX. Make sure that is loaded, just like you see as you scroll down here, load D2XX. Those are the only things you need to do. Make sure those three boxes are checked and the other ones are not. Then you click the lightning bolt. When you click the lightning bolt, it will program the device to save the settings you just made. And then you exit the program. The next thing you need to do is load the driver. If you've already tried loading the driver, um, maybe after inverting these program, these here using FT program, it will work. So let's try it with MP scan. Open MP scan. On mine, it is read it. It says it's finding the FTDI USB port on COM4. Great. If yours does not say that, the next step you need to do is exit out of MP Scan and open your device manager. If it is working correctly in this part, you should see it under ports. You should see USB serial port. That's your FTDI cable. If this does not show up, it means you have not yet changed it to a VCP, which you find under the regular USB, the USB serial converter. See, they're both serials. So under this one, if you don't find this one, you need to open this one. Go to Advanced and check this box to click Load VCP. If that is unchecked and you do check it, you need to click OK, then unplug the cable, then replug it in, and that alone should have this pop up. If this does not pop up, it's because the driver is not working correctly. If it's not working correctly, I recommend Googling FTDI driver. Let's go to the first one. You want to do this D2 double X. And since we're doing the VCP, we want this VCP one. And you scroll down. 
you click this one to set up executable, it'll download an automatic install program that should work, which you would try first. And it, then the other one you could do is download just the files. So first thing would do, try to download and run this. Again, check to see if under device manager, you're getting this COM4 port. If it's still not working, the next thing I would do is go to this converter, go to driver, go to update driver, and then go to browse and select the file that you downloaded for FTDI drivers like that, which would be this links, either this one or this one based off of that. And when you do that, you click OK, it'll search through those files you downloaded and install the correct ones and that should work. After that again you'll want to check MP scan and it should show up now and if that shows up down here in the bottom you should be able to plug it in to your car and have it work. If this is not showing up here or says no valid port that means you still have work to do. Hopefully that answers your question.